Do you believe, understand, and live by the Constitution of the United States? If not, you should. This information is very important to all U.S. citizens. Allow us to explain some basic information about government. There are two main schools of thought. One is to have as little government control as possible, and the other is to have total government control over every aspect of human life. Then there are many positions in between those two schools of thought, which is where we find most Americans. Let's first consider total government control. The government makes decisions and laws and uses force or punishment for those who do not abide. This type of government is called totalitarian, and heads of this type of government are called kings, tyrants, emperors, dictators, and warlords. Before 1788, most all governments were of this type. There were some modified versions of totalitarian governments, such as in England, where they had a parliament that enabled some input from a group called lords and some representation for the common people. In reality, the king ruled with guidance from his advisors, and most of the people obeyed his laws. In 1788, seven years after the Revolutionary War, the Constitution of the United States was approved and accepted by the sovereign states and became the law of our country. Our Constitution was very different from any government in the world because it was based on having very little government. The federal government was then charged with the responsibility to protect the people's unalienable rights given from our Creator, along with 17 other specific tasks outlined in the Constitution. The people of the United States were not only free and well organized, they were also protected from their own government through the Constitution. By 1905, 117 years later, the United States had become the most prosperous nation in the world. What does this tell us? When people are free from totalitarian government, they're happier, personally successful, prosperous, and have a greater standard of living through advances in technology, science, medicine, and arts. The people's responsibility under our Constitution is to be law-abiding, to elect good, honest people with wisdom, intelligence, and experience in many diverse fields. People with a great appreciation and understanding of the principles used to formulate our United States Constitution. Imagine if all citizens understood the Constitution and would elect representatives who upheld the Constitution. Unfortunately, that's not how it is. But it can be. Here's a simple rule to follow. Any law passed which allows our government to do something that you as an individual don't have the right to do, that law is unconstitutional. The only rights you can delegate to your representatives are the unalienable rights you have, not the rights you don't have. You don't have the right to take possessions from one group of people and give them to another. That is stealing. It is wrong to knowingly seek to get your representatives to pass laws that are unconstitutional. That action promotes a totalitarian government. We're better than this, and we can do better. You can find out if your representatives are passing good or bad laws by going to libertasutah.org and clicking on Legislator Indexes. It lists all the laws passed by the U.S. Legislature for the last three years. It shows the name, the House bill number, nature of the law, who did or did not vote for the bill, and a constitutionality percentage score. Study the constitutionality score and you'll find that 52% of the people in Utah vote for totalitarian government. If Utah is off track, what does that say for the rest of the United States? You can make needed changes by voting for candidates that pledge to repeal unconstitutional laws at all levels of government. When we're able to get Utah back on the road to prosperity, we can help the rest of our country do the same. Will you help?